So, before we head to Denerim, there are a couple things I realized I wanted to do. First off, you guys remember that amulet that we found in Redcliffe? I totally forgot to uh, let Alistair know about it. So, um... Let's switch to Alistair here. Hey, look what I found. This? This is my mother's amulet. It has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? I found it in Redcliffe Castle in the study. Oh, the Arl study? Then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? Maybe he meant to give it back to you. Maybe he did. He might even have brought it with him one of those times he came to see me at the monastery. Not that I would have given him a chance, as belligerent as I was to him. Thank you. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Wow. <laughs> I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. Oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? Ho, ho, ho. See this gesture I'm making? Can you hear that? <laughs> yes, I can hear that one loud and clear. Thanks, Alistair. <laughs> now, there is something else in here which I think might trigger something. I don't remember. Let's go to Leliana here. Mm, flowers? Oh, thank you. They're very pretty. These are your mother's flowers, aren't they? These were her favorite. I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. Now, speaking of Leliana, there is one other thing that, uh, before we head to Dederum and kind of get that underway, there's one more thing that I want to, uh, showcase to you guys this only happens after you have finished the elf werewolf quest line and it happens once you talk to Liliana in camp and it's personally for me one of my absolute favorite moments in this entire game it's it's one of those moments where it's it's hard to i don't know it's just a beautiful moment. It's not super relevant or important, but it's just one of those moments that it just kind of stands out that players tend to remember because it's just one of those absolutely beautiful moments that you can't help but not love and appreciate it. It's a little... Uh, I will... <laughs> it's very clear that that is not the same voice, but you'll, you'll see what I mean. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. Hmm. That is comforting. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. Thank you. 
<sighs> All right, let's let's of course point out a couple of issues with that. Yes, that's clearly it. <laughs> What sounds like a different voice compared to her just normal talking voice. So, yes, let's kind of acknowledge that, get that out of the way. Let's also acknowledge that, of course, <laughs> the, you know, if if there's actual music going on right now, where the heck would it be coming from? <laughs> so, no, this, this is definitely more so a, a scene for the players and just to add that thematic, you know, feel. Uh, cinematic feel for the players you know it's like it's one of those scenes like it's the kind of thing you would see if you were watching a movie or a show and this kind of thing just broke out and that just happened it's not necessarily something that makes sense within you know like there's obviously no you, you know someone playing instruments for the song but it's not really an in-story thing so she's probably just singing that on her own acapella but you know, adding the music just, of course, just makes it much more, uh, just nicer for, you know, for the players to enjoy. Like, I'm, I just love that. Um, one of the things I love about that scene is that there are certain shots you could see where it shows certain characters are acknowledging what's going on. And they're kind of paying attention. Morgan looking over and just kind of shaking her head like, oh, she's singing. Sten just kind of looking over and just kind of, you know, listen you know listening alistair just sitting there looking at her kind of enraptured by her singing voice you know like i'm sure others would be and, you know the dog just kind of like laying down just getting comforted by the singing just little sh little things like that shots like that the cinematography of that scene just i absolutely love how it was directed it would be nice if there were other shots for some of the other characters but Part of the point of the way this scene was shot is that it was it, it could be done as early as you wanted once you finished the elf uh wolf storyline so you notice there was it was characters in those shots mainly just morgan the dog uh sten and alistair and that was basically it it's not really taking into account if you have already gotten some of the other characters in your party at this point because i've got everyone here ogren's here zevran's here shale's here wins here but there's no shots for any of them because the game wouldn't have uh, taken into consideration that you have them at this point so they only shot that as if you had for example finished uh lothering and then went straight to the forest to get them so that way you could still have this scene and have those shots matter with basically no one left out uh, regardless if you had gotten some of those other characters by now in the party or not. So, gosh, I love that scene. Just, you know, just beautiful singing there. You know, I'm sure there was some work on the soundboard to make it sound better than it probably was. But, hey, I've been in those situations. I know what it's like, you know, in those kind of sessions. I've actually attended those in person. So I know what that's like. But just the way that scene is shot you know even if it doesn't make that much sense it's still a wonderful beautiful scene so anyways so i just want to make sure we caught that so what do you guys say now we i've already uh in case you're wondering yes i've actually you can see i, I did a uh, quite a bit of work on my inventory though i couldn't uh, be able to actually select how many maybe it was because i was using the extra mod chest that i've got so I'm going to try and turn that in, though, while we are in Denerim. Hmm. Yes. Let's yes. keep the party we've been using lately. Here I am. There we go. You know, there's actually someone I want to check it, check on, check in with over here. Welcome, friends. Welcome to Wade's Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerim, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? Tell me about Wade. 
You're obviously not from around here. Wade is possibly the most brilliant armorsmith in all of Ferelden. That's not true, Heren. The dwarves of Orzammar make the finest armors around. These piles of rust droppings you force me to make are worthless compared to their work. You never let me have the time, the materials to make something special. Customers expect their armor in a timely fashion, not years late like the last time. That happened once, just once, and you never let it draw. I love these two. I love these two so much, especially Wade. Just the voice actor, just I love the way he, at times, he sounds like he's just, oh, I'm so upset, and he's just all pouty, like he's like, you never let me have the materials or the time to make something wonderful. And <laughs> uh, I love these two. Who's in charge here? I am. Wade owns the Emporium, but without expert assistance and, well, prodding, let's just say the Emporium has improved substantially with our partnership. But I do miss the good old days. I could really take my time to make quality. Oh, by all means, you can return to them. And to the gruel you used to fancy. No, no. Sorry, Hirin. <clears throat> Certainly. So, he of course has some interesting pieces, but of course, uh, that's not the real uh, prize for coming here. Not really. We all know what's the real big prize here. Harin, the bloody customers are bothering me again. What do I pay you for, anyhow? Sorry, sorry. Wade is a genius. Truly, you will be astonished by his work. Uh, but he doesn't deal with customers. If you need anything, please ask me. And tell him I don't want anyone looking over my shoulders either. I'm thinking, blast it all. Uh, truly sorry, sire. <clears throat> On it. We'll be back. Once we have some scales. I was ecstatic when I saw them show up in Awakening. I was like, <gasps> Wade! What can I get you, stranger? Okay, here's a favor. Okay. What can I get you, stranger? Mm-hmm. Okay. Pick that up, too. Ten pieces of garnet. Probably have those stashed away. Three false witnesses. Callum had Denerum. The stores in Denerum. And Doors of Warsmart. Gotcha. Now let's see, I believe. The location, ah, here it is. Yes, this is the info I was given about Genetivi's house. Got it. Let's see if we can pay this brother Genetivi a visit and find out what's going on with the urn of sacred ashes. Hmm, what's this? The history of the Chantry, chapter three. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? A book on the worship of dragon cults? Let us suggest for the moment that a high dragon is simply an animal. A cunning animal, to be sure, but in possession of no true self-awareness or sentience. There has not, after all, been a single recorded case of a dragon attempting to communicate or performing any act that could not otherwise be attributed to a clever beast. How, then, does one explain the existence of so-called dragon cults throughout history? One dragon cult might be explainable, especially in light of the reverence of the old gods in the ancient Tevinter Imperium. In the wake of the First Blight, many desperate imperial citizens turned to the worship of real dragons to replace the old gods who had failed them. 
A dragon, after all, was a god figure that they could see. It was there, as real as the archdemon itself, and as evidence makes clear, did offer a degree of protection to its cultus. Other dragon cults could be explained in the light of the first. Some cult members might have survived and spread the word. The worship of the old gods was as widespread as the Imperium itself. Certainly such secrets could have made their way into many hands, but there have been reports of dragon cults even in places where the Imperium never touched among folks who had never heard of the old gods or had any reason to. How does one explain them? Members of a dragon cult live in the same lair as a high dragon, nurturing and protecting its defenses, defenseless young. In exchange, the high dragon seem to permit those cultists to kill a small number of those young in order to feast on draconic blood. That blood is said to have a number of strange long-term effects, including bestowing greater strength and endurance, as well as an increased desire to kill. It may breed insanity as well. Never in dragon hunters have said these cultists are incredibly powerful opponents. Uh, I uh, think of Cassandra when you are thinking of those uh, dragon hunters. The changes in the cultists are a form of blood magic, surely, but how did the symbiotic relationship between the cult and the high dragon form in the first place? How did the cultists know how to know to drink the dragon's blood? How did the high dragon convince them to care for its young, or know that they would? Is there more to draconic intelligence than we have heretofore guessed at? Guessed at? No member of a dragon cult has ever been taken alive, and what accounts exist from the days of the Neverin Hunters record only mad rants and impossible tales of godhood. With dragons only recently reappearing and still incredibly rare, we may never know the truth, but the question remains. From Flame and Scale by Brother Florian, Chantry Scholar, 928 Dragon. Interesting. I wonder why that would be in Brother Genitivi's house. Well, hello there. Waylon, is it? Yes. What are you doing here? Uh, I am looking for Brother Genitivi. Brother Genitivi? Why? Has he found Andraste's ashes? Arlima needs them. He was on the trail of the urn of sacred ashes, yes. Whether he found it, the Maker only knows. I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He said no word. It's so unlike him. I'm afraid something has happened. Genitivi's research into the urn may have led him into danger. Hmm. What do you think he discovered? I don't know. He was very excited when he left and said he would be back with all the answers. Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi and they too have disappeared. How do you know they disappeared? Well, they haven't returned and they sent no word either. Well, that doesn't mean they disappeared. I, I, I don't know. After what happened to Genitivi, can you blame me for thinking the same thing could happen to the Knights? Perhaps I am just a pessimist. I hope I am wrong. So where did they go? No, don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I know that now. I need to obtain the ashes or our Lehman will die. <sighs> so be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Callenhard, investigating something in that area. What was he investigating? I don't know. All I discovered from going through his research was that he was staying at the inn. But you just said that he spoke of you and told you that. Y yes of course he told me, but I also went through his things to see if I could find other clues to his whereabouts. You sound nervous. Are you hiding something? That's n not true. I told you everything I know. Brother Jenny TV told us, t told me about the inn, and that's all. Us? Who's us? Us? I mean me. There is no us. Bah! 
Why do I keep up this charade? I gave you a chance to turn aside and forget you ever heard of Genitivi and the Urn. But you persisted. Now it has come to this. And just stay, forgive me, I do this in your name. You, you are an idiot. Never right. find your precious right. cure. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Chantry hierarchy, the political structure of the Chantry. A steel symbol on Mandraste, and Genitibi's research. Amidst ramblings about local legends and ancient trade routes, one passage stands out. The village of Haven in the Frostback seems a good place to start. Pity it's not on any maps. Hmm. That's the body of the real Waylon. So I'm surprised no one else bothered coming in here to check out what was going on because corpses smell and I would think that this room would not be enough to contain the smell. Like, it's a strong smell from what I have heard. <laughs> so I would think it would have gone out into the main area here and people would have been like, excuse me, what's that smell? You know, I'm just saying. Now, before we go check out this village, what do you say we go investigate the inn that Callan had, like he was telling us about? Just to see, you know, what could possibly be going on there, why he would have sent us there. We will go there afterwards, but first, let's go check this out. You're awake. Did you... Did you feel it too? It was like the Archdemon saw us. Saw us! What does that mean? I think... Wait. Did you hear that? Darkspawn. Ambush! I guess it's like Duncan once said. We can sense them, and they can sense us. We'd best be more careful from now on. This camp isn't safe any longer. Huh. Will they send next, Darkspawn tax collectors? Fortifications should be built around the camp. Yeah, I can't get a bloody night's rest. How unnerving. It will be more difficult to sleep here now. What, no trap? No ambush? Huh. Some assassins. It is done. Let us move on. Indeed. Yes. Yes. Interesting time for that to happen. All right, all right. Excuse me. They're from the guild. I know that's the one they hired. Stop them! Make her rest the souls of all, Templar and Mage, who gave their lives defending the Circle. May they find peace at last. Indeed.
Hey, Falsy. Hmm. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Can a man drink in peace? Welcome back to the Spoiled Princess. How may I serve you today? Have you uh, seen any sus suspicious activity around your inn? Of course not. Why do you ask? This inn is a trap, isn't it? You're trying to kill me. Oh, I have nothing to do with any of this, I swear. They're listening to us, watching me. I... I can't speak openly. They're looking for anyone asking for this brother Genitivi. They told me to act like nothing's wrong and just deny ever having seen the brother or the knights. Who are these people watching you? I don't know. You should be on your guard and leave quickly. I don't know what happened to the knights, but I doubt it was anything good. I can look after myself. Goodbye, and make her turn his gaze on you. Now's better than later. I see enemy that's ahead. At least the Templar is here to help us out. Okay. Your wish? By the way, if you don't get the research in Brent Genitivi's house, you can get uh, info about Haven from the cultists who just attacked us. I'm gonna quick save here because something's about to happen here. A couple things, actually. What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. This is Haven? What do you want? Uh, is there Brunner Genitivi here? Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. I suggest you seek your brother elsewhere. You... why do you have a revered father, priests or women? It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. That's a line that always throws up a red flag for me. Anytime I hear somebody say, well, it's always been this way. We don't question tradition. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a red flag for me. Have you ever heard of the Urn of Sacred Ashes? The Urn is nothing but a legend. His research suggests it may be more. I do not know who Brother Jenna TV is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. And you don't know if he's come here? No. I'd like to explore Haven. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it was some sort of zoo. Excuse me. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? Ah, quiet insular communities. There's always something nasty going on behind the closed doors. I hope it involves chains. I hope they ask me to join in. Oh my gosh, Zevran. Interesting strategy. Tell me, do you intend to keep going north until it becomes south and attack the Archdemon from the rear? What are you talking about? The Archdemon is our goal, and we are heading away from it to find the charred remnants of a dead woman. You haven't thought this through.
You just have to trust me on this. It is not an issue of trust, Kadan. I trust you with my life, but this is not my life at risk. It is our goal. This is something that we have to do to reach our goal. I have spoken my mind. Let us waste no more time here. Ah, okay, so... I think because I already did the quest to get him his sword, he's much more forgiving in that regard. If you do this quest before you get the sword, I think he just out... <laughs> he just outright, uh, or at least, may or maybe I chose the wrong dialogue options there. But he will actually challenge you to a fight. And you'll have to fight him one-on-one -on -one if you bring him here. Um, like, saying that he would then kind of take over leadership. And so you can kind of, like, get him to back down if you beat him in a fight. And he respects you for it and such. So, that was interesting. So, uh... We'll be exploring the creepy, 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 creepy village of Haven when we return. Stay tuned.